Now, those are obviously great questions and it brings me to the final step of this process. Step number four, how to 10X your operations with insane momentum in sales and revenue. Okay, guys? Three steps that triggered the growth of my agency. Okay, this is where we get into the spicy shit. This is where people start feeling uncomfortable because Chad has now literally ripped off the curtains, possibly will rip off his pants and his shirt, and they are going to feel uncomfortable about the situation. We are going to start talking about numbers, guys. This is going to get very personable very quickly, okay? So pay attention, here we go. The first thing that I, di that I did is I decided to open up a small office and turn this into a local business. Now guys, we're talking about 10 years ago, okay guys? 10 years ago. I opened an office, as you can see on the right, that's my office. There was like enough for like two seats, three seats. And uh, that's me right there on the bottom right. And then um, on the top left, you'll see a picture of Angie, which that's Angie right there. Um, basically to free myself and delegate my everyday tasks, I hired my first employee. Her name is Angie, that's her right there, okay? Then I created a simple process using a project management software called Teamwork. Okay, as you can see, I, you know, when an order came in, this is like the first protocol of me like creating the process and all that cool stuff, right? Um, you know, you always hear product, process, cro protocols, all that cool stuff, right? So you can see stage one onboarding, stage two research, stage three pre preliminary setup, design and development, pre-launch, launch, right? So these are actually things that we do in Dashquicks to basically create almost like a factory style approach so we can get these orders out on time and with QA and with everything 100% perfectly for you guys, okay? These are the, the three the three milestones that started everything, okay guys? Screenshot. Now I had that, I was ready to scale my agency, okay? Then at the beginning of 2015, I felt like I was still missing something, guys. I was following this company called Madwire Media, based out in Colorado. They were actually my inspiration. They were the ones I wanted to be just like. Most of you guys probably have that if you've ever done R&D on other companies or if you see these other companies. Um, can you drop an eight in the chat if you have another company that you always follow for some reason, you wanna be just like them, right? Whether it's Dashclicks, social agency, uh, any other agency, any other business, just drop an eight in the chat. If you have this one company you, you wish that you can be just like them, okay? So for me, as I was scaling my agency, that was Madwire Media. I wanted to be just like them, okay? They had big offices, that's a picture of their office right here on the right. They have lots of employees, I think they're about up to about six or 700 employees, and they do awesome work. So, just like every other smart business person, I basically studied their business model and reverse engineered what they were doing and how they were doing it. Now, most of you guys, when you think about R&D, R&D is, by the way, research and development, okay? So when you're thinking about R&D, the most important thing about R&D is consecutively doing it and see, seeing how these businesses shifts, how they take shifts, right? Because businesses change sometimes daily, right? Like dash clicks, we change daily. Like we upgrade, 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 right? And if you're following that on the business that you're looking after, for those of you guys who dropped an eight in the chat, you're gonna see those shifts, okay? And then that, that you can kind of like just piggyback off of that and just go with that shift and go with that shift and keep moving, right? So that's what we did for a long time with Madwire Media. What I realized next changed my life forever. Can we get this on the big screen real quick? What I realized next changed my life forever. If you guys wanna know what that is, 49 in the chat. 49, if you wanna hear that like, wow, life changing, holy shit, this is crazy. There's a lot more you guys. I'm gonna need some help here. 49 in the chat, don't make me go into the panelist and call you out if you're not participating. I'll kick you off this. I kick you off this live, I kick you out, I kick you out, I kick you out. I'm just kidding with you guys. 49 in the chat, all right, good. Recurring revenue. That's it. It's not a science. Recurring revenue. Okay guys, let's go back to the screen. Let me show you guys something. This basically means, for those of you guys who don't know what that is, that they were signing people up for a service and charging them on a monthly basis. Okay, now that's just like your cell phone service or your cable provider, right? All these elements had one thing in common. They were all needed and you had to pay monthly for them in order to keep the services going. The process was pretty simple, guys, okay? Find a customer, make a sale, service a customer monthly, and get paid monthly. It's pretty simple, guys. This is not rocket science. Like I said, I like to take crazy shit and just make it really simple, okay? Not rocket science. So, 
I then changed my business model. I started offering services in which people would pay me monthly for, guys. Now, for those of you guys who don't know, when I was starting my business, I was not offering recurring services. I was doing like websites and printing and graphic design and flyers and business cards design, like the most like un, I would say, I didn't make shit, I didn't make any money, okay? I didn't, wasn't making money, okay? So this is what I started offering, SEO. Um, SEO is actually, the, the uh, to be honest with you guys, SEO for me is my favorite service, okay? Most of you guys probably like Facebook ads or Google ads, right? Because that's what's trending right now. But believe it or not, SEO is actually probably about 60 to 70% of our retail agency, okay? People want it. There's a high demand for it. They know what it is because it's been around for so long. You can charge a premium price, and it's also a long-term play where they'll be with you for at least 6 to 12 months. Okay, SEO is what will actually put money in your pocket every single month. Google AdWords, okay? Social media management, Facebook ads, let's say. Okay, Facebook ads or even posting on social media. Website maintenance, which I don't recommend offering too much anymore, but I put it on here because we did start offering it, okay? We'll charge a monthly fee to maintain their website, give them a couple hours of work. Ready to see what my next three years look like, guys. Who wants to see some numbers? Say numbers in the chat, Chad. Say numbers. Numbers, you guys are all nosy people. Jeez, you guys are nosy. You just wanna put your nose in everything, don't you little sneaky, you sneaky you, okay? Nosy, you're nosy. If I could touch you, I would tap your little nose, okay? Here we go. So to compare, here's the stats from the previous three years. We'll do a little comparison. Now guys, uh, needless to say, I opened my agency in September of 2009, which means actually in about, what is that, like a couple months, we're about to hit our 10 year anniversary of us being open. Um, that would make me an OG, okay? So I'm not gonna go to 2009 because 2009 would actually be pretty embarrassing. I didn't make shit. I actually worked for three years and made nothing, literally. But we can see some realistic numbers. 2012, we did 78K in sales. 2013, we did 97K in sales. 2014, 142K in sales. Now keep in mind guys, right here on the left is before I started offering recurring services. This was me doing like my flyer design and setting up my like Facebook uh, uh, pages for people and building websites and doing printing and all that stupid stuff that I don't recommend people do anymore. Um, then here's what happens after that, okay? So here's the stats after we change that model, okay? 2015, 588K in sales. It's a pretty big jump. If it's a pretty big jump, you guys think that's a big jump, drop, uh, say jump in the chat. Say jump in the chat. That's a pretty big jump, right? 2016, 817K in sales. That's a pretty big jump. Say jump two. Say jump two in the chat. Jump two in the chat. 2017, $1.23 million in sales. Say jump three in the chat. Jump three in the chat. Yeah. This is what happens when we started offering recurring services, guys. Can we go front face real quick? I want to explain to you guys something. The way that recurring services work, once again, is people pay you monthly for a service, which basically means if you sign up two clients, the next month those two clients will pay you again, plus you're going to sign up another two clients. Okay, now you got four clients paying you every single month. Now in the third month, you get another two clients. Okay, now you got the two clients for month one and the two clients for month two, now all paying you. Now you got six clients in month three that you just hit at their credit card. And then you keep doing that, okay? Recurring services. Trust that it works, okay? Let's go back to the slide deck. So this is basically what happened when I switched to a recurring based business model, okay guys? My team was like, oh Chad, you're the man. Thank you for doing that. Thank you for making it rain on us, hey. No laughs on that one? That wasn't a good one? Maybe not, okay, we'll keep going. Uh, by the way, I forgot to mention one really important thing. I also made it on the front page of the Miami Herald, which I thought was pretty badass because I look good looking in the photo. Just thought it was cool, so I added it in there. All right, let's recap. The total sales stats for nine years, not including 2019, by the way, guys. 
okay? Or, yeah, 2018, sorry. Uh, there we go, 2009, there's my petty $8,000 in sales, okay? Um, 2010, 18, 2011, 24, 2012, 78, 13, 97, 14, 142, 15, boom, 588, 2016, 817, 2018, 1.2, 2018, 1.9. That's when I completely changed my marketing business. Everything, complete mind shift, the services that I was selling, my offers, everything changed, everything. I stopped offering all the shit that I was offering in the first three years. Changed everything. Okay, guys, let's go back. So far to date, my company social is a three million, a little over $3 million, not counting the 1.9, so pretty close to $5 million in sales uh, over the years. There's a screenshot from QuickBooks right there. Here's a crazy part. In the last three years alone, not including 2018, when we switched to a recurring based business model, uh, we did $2,785,000 in sales. That's just in the last three years. That averages to about a million dollars a year. Who wants to make a million dollars? Say one million in the chat. Say one million in the chat. You want me to show you? Say one million in the chat, guys, come on. You don't wanna make a million bucks? Fine, don't say it. All right, don't participate. Don't be one of those guys and gals. So I basically had literally what I always dreamed of having, right? I had a growing business. There's a picture of me and my team. I was making lots of money. There's again, a picture of me and my team from a couple years ago. I was my own boss. I had thousands of customers, full-time employees, big office space. I had my dream car, my dream wife. So after all this, for some reason, I did not feel fulfilled, guys. I'll be honest with you guys. Okay, who's ever seen this? Started from the bottom, now we're here. That's what I felt like. I, was, I honestly dreamed of having all of these nice things, but I, for some reason, I just was not fulfilled, okay? After all the hard work, after everything I've been up to in the past nine years, to build this all up to where it is now, I just wasn't fulfilled. I felt like I had a mini empire, but for what, right? I just didn't understand, okay, guys? Uh, I, I was lost, to be honest with you. So, I did a little digging, and what I realized was that I had already surpassed my goals without even knowing it. I was moving so fast, and time was going, and stuff was happening, and the business was growing, that I moved so fast that I surpassed my goals without even knowing, okay guys? Over the years, I built a process that was so easy to manage and highly profitable. My process was so good that I literally put myself out of the job at the time. I went to my office every day and literally had nothing to do. Trust me, this wasn't a bad thing. Okay guys, but obviously I'm a hustler, so I got my ass back to work. It was simply the result of making four shifts that I just walked you through, okay? This isn't theory or fluff or untested ideas. This is practical information I used to grow my seven plus figure digital marketing agency, okay? This is not crazy stuff. So. I wanna ask you guys a quick question. Let's do a quick poll. Do me a favor. Why did you show up today? Can you drop it in the chat? And be honest. If you're not honest, I will kick you out of the chat. You're never allowed to chat again. Why did you show up today? Drop it in the chat. Philip said to learn more. Shaden said, want more sales. Sean, ooh, you guys are going quick. Uh, Sean said, learn how to scale my business. Scott said, starting out and looking for guidance. Marcus says, to refine my systems and processes. Bradleen says, gain more knowledge. Doug said, more customers, more money. Christine, Christiane says, to learn more. We got curiosity, scale my business. To grow everlasting recurring revenue. Jamie said, I love that. Because uh, current income is 500 a month. Jaren said, okay. Want to be successful. Want to learn how to get more. How to pick your brain. I'm nosy. <laughs> Uh, knowledge learn from like-minded individual or industries cool to get some of Chad's cheeky secrets uh, looking to learn all right good learn copy the success reminder of the fundamentals scale my business somebody said discount offer uh, to see what the entails to start and scale my agency to see you handsome thank you uh, to learn how to automate inbound leads to figure out how this all works to learn from the best yeah you guys are leaving good Th these are all quality comments okay guys so 
Now, I don't know, obviously, why you showed up today, all of you, but it's more likely probably one of the two things, okay? You either want to start an agency and you don't know where or how to get started, or you already have an agency and you want to make sales with predictability down to the dollar. If you are in any one of these two things, can you drop a seven in the chat? Seven in the chat. If any one of these two things are you, you got to be in one bucket or the other. It's either you have an agency and you want to make money predictability literally down to the dollar, or you want to start an agency and you want to figure it out. Awesome. And if that's why you showed up, take a moment to consider. What if you could create service packages that are so in tune with what your target customer wants that they buy without a moment's hesitation? What if you had powerful systems that brought more of the right people to your door and gave you all the tools to deliver mind-blowing results for them? And what if you had an entire team to help you literally grow and sustain profitable powerhouse of a business or an agency? Guys, you've seen the results, okay? You've seen the numbers, you've been following me around for months, okay? You're probably following me on my Instagram. You probably follow us on Facebook. You show up to all of our live webinars, okay? You know we know our shit for the most part, okay? We got a big agency here. And these results aren't because I'm smarter than you. I'm probably not, honestly. I'm really and honestly not that smart. I'm just a good marketer and a good business person. Those are my two strong suits. Everything else I suck at. Or that I have more resources at my disposal because I didn't when I started. You guys saw the pictures. I didn't have shit. I started out of my parents' room. But simply because I have a formula that works. One that has been nine years in the making and continues to serve my business to this day. Okay, guys? To this day. So here's the obvious question. How do I get this system up and running so I can start seeing results quickly? Who wants to start seeing results fast and doesn't want to wait? Can we drop a 92 in the chat? Who wants to get fast results, doesn't want to wait, is sick and tired of waiting and trying to figure this shit out for themselves and tr jumping through hoops only to get nowhere? Drop a 92 in the chat, guys, and be honest, okay? If you're not honest with yourself, you are not going to make any money. Good. Well, I've got some options for you, okay? Option number one, you can do what most people will do, which is go at it alone or keep using the same strategies that don't work. The time suck, the stress, the defeat, that can continue to be your story if that's what you want. Or option number two, you can choose to build a digital marketing agency that reaches those crazy income levels that I just showed you that literally has immeasurable impact on the people you serve because guess what, guys? Your clients will be taking action. They will be seeing the results that you promise. They will become fierce advocates of what you have to offer. This is how you do a dang good time running an agency that transform your life, not only in the life of your clients. Does that make sense to you guys? Can we get an 80 in the chat? If this makes any sense to anybody in here, eight zero in the chat, please guys, 80 in the chat, let's go. We gotta get some momentum up. I need everybody to get up out of their seats. Let's go, shake it off. Now guys, if that's what you want, if that's what you like, we go full screen here. I want you guys to join me inside our brand new program, Dash Accelerator. Okay, guys, I told you guys that I'm going to have something crazy for you at the end of this. Okay? This is literally the exact process I and many others have used to build agencies that pull several, seven figures in recurring revenue. From package services to landing clients to getting results for clients, it's all covered in there, guys, okay? Okay? 